This is the swim lanes chart template at SharePointDashboards.com. This is a variation of the flowchart template where you can have lanes which would usually be used to indicate teams in a company or different departments. So what this allows you to do is help delineate between the responsibilities of different groups. The name refers to these dividers. You have columns which differentiate between those different groups. And then normally what you want to do is use the same colors for the shapes in your flowchart for those columns to further emphasize that it is uh, steps in the process that correlate to those different groups. So this template works very similar to the flowchart template. Below the description of this video, you'll find a link to another video which goes more into depth about how to work with that interface for the flowchart template. For this one, you simply need to define the headers for the swim lanes and then uh, define the columns and rows for that. You do need to begin by downloading the list template for this one. So you can get that by clicking on the link below uh, where it says list template download required. So click on that and that will download a STP file to your local computer. And then you need to upload that to SharePoint. If you're unfamiliar with how to load a list template to SharePoint, be sure to check out the link at the bottom of the notes which explains how to work with list templates in SharePoint. So that is a prerequisite. You do need to get that template set up and create your list from that template. Once that's set, everything else is pretty easy. Okay, so I just need to do a couple of things. Of course, with all the templates, you've got some different theme options you can check out. Um, I'm just gonna go with the default theme uh, I want to put in the title for my chart, customer process, and then you need to provide a common delimited list of the headers for those swim lanes. All right, so for me, I've got five, customer, customer service, sales, implementation, and management. Okay, and then I want to use five columns since I have five swim lanes and then I want that to be on three rows. Now the preview is going to show you some information to help you see things like the uh, background colors and font size and stuff like that, but these headers won't change the preview. That's okay, it's just to give you a general idea. When you copy the template, as I'm doing now, and apply it in your site, you'll see exactly what you have configured. So when I come over here, I've already got my list set up and I just need to go to the view, drop down, format current view, advanced mode, and then select all and paste. And there it is. Now you'll notice there are two options. You can uh, apply a template that has edit mode enabled and you can also do that without edit mode enabled. So you actually should do two views. One would be for you to make updates on this chart. So I can do things like click on this and I can modify the text or the shape or any of that other information. If you are just trying to set up the display to share with other users, what you would do is disable this edit mode option. And that stage you're set. So you can see an example process that I have this uh, demonstrates a process in a company. A customer calls in to ask about services. The customer service team uh, gets the information and then passes that along to the sales team, which is in the third column. They schedule the demo with the customer. Once that meeting's tech taken place, they send a proposal back over to the customer. Then the customer, if they have signed off on the proposal, that triggers another series of steps, the sales meeting uh, gets together with the implementation team in the fourth column. They do a customer kickoff meeting 
and then the management team is notified and they're going to register the customer in their various tools. So this is just an example. Of course, you can do some searching and research if you want to better understand and see examples of different swim lanes flowcharts. So as I mentioned, there's going to be a link below this if you want to learn more about the flowcharts template, which is closely related. I would recommend that. It'll give you some more details about how that works. And then you can go ahead and use that in addition to this. And that's it. If you do not yet have a subscription for SharePointDashboards.com, you can start with a free subscription, which will provide access to 20 free templates. And then if you go on and subscribe, that will get you access to uh, another additional 111 templates um, as of this video. So lots and lots of different options for SharePoint. I hope you found that interesting and hope you're able to implement a swim lanes diagram in your SharePoint environment soon. Thank you.